Hello, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Stephen, and today I'm going to do a walk around video presentation for you of this absolutely fantastic 2011 90 TSI Golf Trendline. As you can see in black, really, really nicely styled here. Our Volkswagen badge in the middle of the uh, car here really pops out. Our headlight styling really nicely done here. And part of the video today is going to be on the condition of the paintwork and the interior. And this car is very well looked after. I can see here the front of the bumper bar really, really nice and clean. Looking at the bonnet, the same too. Very, very clean car. Uh, this and being a black car they really do show the marks up quite quickly and having a look at the front guard here really nice condition too coming down to our alloy wheels here a little bit of gutter rashing on this one but having a look at our tyres here absolutely fantastic condition tyres on there we have our black colour coded door mirrors with the indicator integrated in there too and then looking at the door and the paintwork along the side of this car for a black vehicle is in amazing condition. And the bottom there, really, really good. We've got some light scratching just in behind the door handle there that I can see. And then having a look up on the roof here, very good condition up on the roof. Uh, it is a little bit dusty because we've got the earthworks going on behind us for the train station. But having a look, as we look at the rear alloy wheel, really, really good condition on this one and fantastic tyres there. Now as I come around to the back of this Golf TSI here, you can see twin exhaust pipes down on the left hand side, really nicely styled. And then having a look at the paintwork on the back of the bar, we do have a little bit of wear on the top there, uh, as you would expect from getting stuff in and out. Now, with the nicely styled taillights here, we do have our high mount stop lamp there, as well as the wiper. But popping open the tailgate just like that, lifting up, pops open really, really nice. And then looking inside, for a very small hatch, we've got a lot of room in the back here. Really is amazing amount of space inside here. Popping open, we've got our spare wheel down underneath here. All our tools in there, locked away nice and safe. Nicely styled too. We do have our three anchor points there. They've got the one for the middle seat there too. So really good 60-40 split in the back seat so you can fold them down if you need to as well. And then pulling that door down, having a look, it is overall fantastic condition is on this car as we look around. Now coming around to the left hand side here, you can see the paintwork continues to be fantastic. The left hand rim here, really, really good condition on the rim. And once again, fantastic tyres on here too. Now having a look, we've got a minor little blemish just on the door there that I can see. But overall, uh, and that's just a bit of fluff on that one. Overall, really, really good condition right across the doors. Looking at the mirrors, really good condition with the indicator integrated on this side. And then once again, back to the front wheel. Do have some minor gutter rashing on this side, as you would expect, and fantastic tyres. So overall, the outside of the car is in fantastic condition. Now I've just got to remember if I get it right for the bonnet on this, or if it's, and I would do it, it is on the other side. So let me just reach across. Always getting the European cars mixed up. Some are on the left hand side, some are on the right, and I swear it's just to confuse us. Now, let's just pop this uh, there. So, popping it open, have got the car running at the moment because I left it uh, going, but we do have a uh, 1.4 litre four cylinder turbo engine giving us 90 kilowatts of power and 200 newton metres of torque. All this is coupled with the seven speed uh, transmission giving us an average fuel consumption of 6.2 litres per 100 kilometres. So out of our 55 litre tank, that is a whopping 887 kilometres of driving. All right, now to the inside of our fantastic little Golf here. Starting on our driver's side, you'll see our door lock button up the top, our window switches with the window lock button, and our mirror controls are here too. Turning the steering wheel to the right, you'll see we've got our headlight switch. We also have our headlight adjustment, as, and then we have our dash illumination uh, adjustment there. Two keys, our wiper control on the right-hand side, our headlights with the cruise control on the 
end of the stalk there too. And then having a look at our steering wheel, very nicely leather wrapped here. We do have our menu controls on this side and our stereo controls are on this side. So nice and easy to use there. Coming across to the middle of the car now, you'll see we've got our nicely styled vents with the hazard light at the top, a nice digital readout here with our media phone, our setup buttons on the side and our manual controls there. And then also being a touch screen display so we can change our stations as we feel. Coming down from there, we have our heating and cooling controls. And then down below, we've got some storage there, just moving the auto out of the way. So you can see down here, we have a 12 volt charge point in the bottom here and our traction stability control there. Coming further down, we do have our cup holders there hidden away nicely and they do come with a opener, a bottle opener, which can be hidden down there. Or as you saw, it just pulls out and divides the drink holders, so being able to hold your drinks properly. From there we open up, we've got our nice little centre console there with a bit of storage and our handbrake lever beside it. Now, having a look around this car, the interior of this car has been very, very well maintained. Uh, in great condition, right around, looking up the top here, another little storage point up there. We've got our lights and everything there, so really, really good condition right around the car. And the service history goes to reflect that too. So having a look as we go through, finding the start of it. So you've got the first service done at Volkswagen. The next one done at 30,000 at Volkswagen. 45,000, the 60,000. The 75,000. And then we've done a service when we got the vehicle at 85,000 as well. So you know you're not due for any major servicing when you pick this car up. All right, so that's our walk around video presentation for you today of our fantastic 2011 Golf TSI. As you can see for a black car, the overall condition inside and out is absolutely fantastic. Full service history on the car. New, near new tyres on the car as well and great fuel economy. So if you have any more f questions on this car, please give us a call here at Berwick Mitsubishi on 9907 555. And thanks for watching.